Do you know how powerful the resurrection of Christ really is? We hear it all the time. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. But we have a few clues from St. Peter and King David of how powerful the resurrection of Christ is. King David in Psalm 16 writes this, Nor will you let your faithful one see decay. He's pointing ahead to the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And St. Peter, in his great sermon in the beginning of the book of Acts, takes us to Easter morning and he shows us again what David was saying. Peter writes this. He spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, that he was not abandoned to the realm of the dead, nor did his body see decay. Jesus' body, even though it died, did not see decay. Well, we know very well what decay does. Jesus himself shows us. He goes to the tomb of his friend Lazarus, who's been dead in the tomb four days. And Jesus is warned very clearly, Lord, he stinketh. Jesus is warned about decomposition. Warned that the body, because of death, is now decaying. We see the resurrection of Jesus is so powerful that Jesus' very body, even though he gave up his life on the cross as the total and complete sinless sacrifice for us, as the one who took all of our sins upon himself when he died on the cross and was taken and laid in the tomb, decay did not start to happen. Death had no hold on him. You see, dear saints, we know very well from St. Paul, sin brings death. And we know clearly from the biology that death brings decomposition. But sin had no hold on Jesus. And because it had no hold on Jesus, it had no hold on his physical body as well. Jesus did not decay in the tomb. And yet, he was raised again on the third day, just as he said, his body whole and healed. And he did show the marks of his crucifixion in his hands, his head, and his side. But decay had no authority over him, because death had no authority over him either. You see, for you and I, dear saints, it's the resurrection of Jesus that gives us hope that it is through Jesus beating death, taking death, our sin, upon himself, and taking all of death's punishment, that you and I have hope and promise that we will die, but we will be raised. And this body, just as it is here, but yet made perfect, will see Jesus. I will see him with my own eyes, as Job records. Death had no dominion over Jesus. And it has no dominion over you because you are his.